Tuesday, right? Tommy Norcow? Yeah. yeah, he was here last week. The adopted Pennsylvania. All right. Uh, state your name and um, what band you play for? Uh, Mark Stokey. I used to play in Strike Back. All right. Uh, tell us um, the origin of Strike Back, when, starting with like the year you guys got together. Uh, well, really, it started when our drummer Brett was much younger. He uh, he lit, His family had two older guys that lived with them, the punk dudes, and uh, they had a band called FSG. And uh, eventually, got tired of like not being an actual band or writing music or doing anything that requirement of a band. And uh, they started getting more serious about things, and they had just asked a couple of us to sing, and we all did it because we were all friends and going to shows like two, three shows a weekend for a long while, and uh, it just kind of developed. And uh, I had left and then came back later, and that was kind of how it worked out. Around what year was this? I want to say 01 or 02 maybe, maybe 03. Word, word. Um, what drew you to the Pennsylvania scene, like you as, as yourself, like what, what, what attracted you to it? Well, um, the way it worked out was pretty different. My school district redistricted the school district and I got stuck in a different uh, middle school, I guess. And I had already been listening to some metal, you know, I was younger, like 14. And uh, there was kids that were weighing the, a lot of different things like punk. And at the time, you know, 97, 98, uh, Lansdale had a huge scene going on. There was bands and there were shows every weekend in town. And uh, when you're younger and you're looking for something that's totally different, than wherever you're used to because you don't feel any affinity to it, uh, hardcore is a great fit, you know? And uh, in high school, I was going to shows as much as I could. And then when I got out of high school, it was like two, three shows a weekend, whatever I could hit up, up and down the East Coast, you know, me and my friends, that's all we did. So uh, that's kind of how I got into it. It was a different way of thinking for me, uh, much more expanded than swallowing the normal shit that people deal with every day. Yeah, uh, my Navy, the Navy moved me here, or well, my family, when I was two, and Pennsylvania is all I've ever known. Uh, I moved to Florida a little while back, but uh, Pennsylvania is still my home. When I got into it, it was the, the foundation cornerstone was the guys in Sporia. Um, Chris Spear, especially, was just constantly booking out shows and would book out Dysphoria all the time. And then uh, Mitch and the guys from PFP were doing a lot of shows. And, Chine and uh, Mitch had that record label, um, Double Down Records, that had kind of started around it too. And they were doing the Lansdale stuff, but it was always a mix of people that were putting things together. But as far as the first Lansdale band to get the others involved, it was disordered. Pennsylvania has always had a scene, a very good scene, but it never got the spotlight as New York or DC did. And uh, it's kind of a shame because. As you'll see, there's a huge history here, it's, and it's really rich. And the amount of stories that people can tell you through the years is just insane, you know. But people of Pennsylvania has always been there, you know. So, honestly, uh, the internet thing is kind of interesting to like me and my generation of hardcore kids because when I started going to shows, the reason that I knew about things was because of flyers and zines and people talking about it. And then right as I was getting towards the end of high school and just out of high school was when like PAHardcore.com became PA Hardcore and you could go on the New York Hardcore website and he had like three page long list of shows for the East Coast. And uh, it was really nice. But then the message board thing happened and as much fun as that could be, it creates so many problems and there's just all these extra beefs that uh, it's all stupid. Like you can't go on a message board anywhere and like even if you're on discussing, you'll probably look back and go, man, what an idiot, you know, like it doesn't really do anything to help. I mean, you can, and then there's people that have, like they're promoting shows and they think that their only promotion of shows has to be on a message board and that it's not how it goes, man. You really got to put in some more work than just a push of a click of a button. Yeah, I think it just goes to prove the point, you know, that Pennsylvania has always had that core following, you know. Uh, kids here don't need that huge recognition to stand out and be like, oh, I'm from here. It's like, no, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm, I'm legit, you know. And you see all these other fests that have come and gone, and now they're kind of falling off. And, you know, this is hardcore and Tsunami Fest are still going hard. 
So it's kind of a, a showing testament of uh, what we really do have here. I, I mean, without being corny or anything, it kind of made me the person I am today. I mean, uh, you know, when I see the news or the way I think about things, I think is rather different than most people. And that's because, you know, uh, you're exposed to a lot of different things and opinions in hardcore and you're kind of taught not to swallow the normal bullshit. And uh, for me, that was really good. It also made me social. You know, you're out meeting people all the time. And, uh, you guys try to find people that are like you and you get along and you make friends and they're different than everyone else. So it teaches you a lot about yourself quickly if you're picking it up. Uh, you know, when you're young and everything, you, you just get wrapped up in it, you know, and uh, if violence is almost like a drug, you know, you, you love that rush you get when you get them and you can look back on it and be like, man, that was stupid, but sometimes you make friends out of people that you fought with that you're just like, it almost makes you stronger friends, you know, like, or if the shit you get into with the people you are friends with, you know, it creates a good bond. And I want to say that it kind of makes a better person to get your lumps in while you're young, you know. You, you don't want to go through life with no scars, right? <laughs> <laughs> it came, CC's was the big thing when I was first getting in, and I never, I like, I kind of missed that end. Um, Allentown had a huge scene for a while, and uh, there was like so much crazy shit, and some of the older guys had some stories that about with the skinheads that were just, it's like mind-boggling to think, like you, you hear these stories, and then kids today, have it so good, you know, and you almost don't realize how good they had it, you know, and, uh, but, I mean, for me, like, when Home Base was around, that was awesome, you know, Kill Time shows in Philly were great, you know, and even before that, some of the Stalock shows, so, I'm pretty sure you guys will cover most of it, so, okay. Dysphoria was a big one, just because it was the locals, you know, and, uh, Mushmouth too, like, Mushmouth had that Pennsylvania hardcore thing, and uh, I thought that was cool. I'm really happy to see what the guys in Wisdom and Chains are doing right now. Uh, they really have a great name and they're doing something that's a little bit different, but kids are still really excited about it and they put on a great show. And if that has to be the flagship band for Pennsylvania, I couldn't be happier about it, you know? So good for them, you know? But uh, there, was, there was a lot of bands in Philadelphia too that were, you know, Punishment was my thing for a while, you know? And, Joe really got out there and toured with that band, which was, that was good for them. You know, Victor Strike and a horror show. So, I hope that some younger kids would see this or somebody that was kind of on the fringe and would see this for what it is. You know, uh, most of the people that I know in this documentary are really great people and they're the kind of people you want to be surrounded by, you know, and learn more from and be that kind of person. Uh, today, Society breeds horrible little fake people that, that just don't get it anymore. And uh, being a part of Pennsylvania, being part of hardcore in Pennsylvania, you know, teaches you to be strong, you know, and uh, people need that nowadays. You know, don't quit.